music kept Arno and Mel on the road for years. Once Hayden was born, they needed a permanent home, so fixed up this grand dam. Was it love at first sight for you and your wife Melanie when you first saw the property? This is a wonderful room. It reminds me of a, a farm stoop, but it's by the sea, so it's like a farm stoop that represents a high tea or you know, 11 o'clock or 4 o'clock tea and cake. But then you get the best of both worlds. You're not sitting in the Karoo, you're actually sitting looking at the sea. This is a fantastic view. Is this where you draw your inspiration as a musician and an artist? Yeah, I sit in right over there, lie around here reading a book maybe. And it's cool, I've got some, some great friend artists of mine like uh, Richard Scott stuff. And then pictures of my dad as a rugby player. So it's a, a room filled with nostalgia and uh, then of course tea and cake. Now most people know you as a musician, but where did your love for art begin? I wasn't very good at, uh, at uh, um, academically, I wasn't that strong. In the sports department I wasn't that strong. So my mum said maybe you must try and play guitar. So thanks to my mum I picked up the guitar. But then also from the beginning I did, uh, I was quite good at fine art and at um, singing in the choirs. Did a lot of choir singing. So it all little by little came together and eventually I got the opportunity to do what I love most and get paid for it. I know, describe your painting style and technique. I always thought I was doing um, serialism, but then somebody said it's more expressionism, so it's whatever the people think it should be, but for me it is just a battle to make it look awesome so that I like it. A collaborative artist in music and fine art, Arno has painted works together with the late Barand Devet as well as the renowned Beezy Bailey. What was it like collaborating with Beezy Bailey and other amazing artists? It's just fantastic to be able to get the chance to work with people um, that's been successful in the art world for quite a long time. Maybe their, uh, their artistry and their success can rub off on you kind of a little bit. So, um, but it normally starts when I invite them for a drink or um, lunch or dinner and then eventually I, uh, I get them to do a painting with me. And being such a busy musician, where do you find the time to paint? In between tours, I've got a, actually a lot of downtime, so I get myself to get the paints out and work on some paintings. I'm constantly actually working on an next exhibition, so these days, it used to be a hobby, these days it's more of a, a work in progress kind of situation. Through the good times and the more turbulent years, Melanie Carstens has kept her husband's diverse career on a sound course. You've been Arno's manager for 15 years. What are the key ingredients to a successful partnership? You know, communication is key and boundaries and making sure we keep a balance. You know, um, it's quite difficult. Sometimes it might be a sort of Sunday morning where I'm not really in the mood to answer work questions and I get it in the ear, but uh, you know, it is what it is. We've, we've sort of worked through it over the years. It's been a long time. The first couple of years, I'd say, was, wasn't so easy, but yeah, we manage now. And he lets me be the boss. And I know obviously working with your wife has some perks. For instance, you know when she's going to get angry, so you know when to keep quiet. And um, that is uh, the secret to a healthy working relationship. You've just finished a national tour with the Springbok Nude Girls, and now you're releasing an album at the end of the year. We've been going since 1994. So uh, we're like a band of brothers. We don't play as much as we used to. We play like twice a year, we do a little tour. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. We're doing an album so many years later and uh, there's quite a lot of hard rock and punk vibes in it. What was the inspiration for your new album? Well, I think the inspiration is, is um, you know, the last, last year when we toured, it was such a, we had such a good response from the fans and because of the show, it's quite high energy and uh, quite heavy. Um, I think that the live, aside from the nude girls is the inspiration and then also the world is almost in a in a world of pain kind of thing and that is a that is a lovely place for an artist to work from uh, comedians everything for art because you know that is something to talk about based on his proven track record arno advises young creatives to listen to their hearts and never to underestimate their instincts there are signs of these natural insights in his son. Hayden has grown a lot since the last time we saw him. I know, it actually goes by so quickly, it's scary. So yeah, we're lucky though, we get to spend a lot of time uh, together as a family because obviously on our schedule. And 
we have a lot of fun, and but yeah, but time flies when you're having fun. So yeah, it's gone very quickly. Your home is definitely the perfect place to raise a child. It is. I mean, our home, because it's a very comfortable, relaxed sort of environment and there's lots of colour, which kids love. You know, Arno's always either playing on the piano or the guitar or painting, so play dates are always very fun at the cast and house. Um, and also just the Southern Peninsula as, a, as an area, you know, because on the one side you've got, you know, where we are, the beach, um, they, they're often over the road at the little tidal pool, fishing and playing around in the sea. And then on the other side, he's got horse riding and he's been riding since he was three. So it's a beautiful environment really to, to raise a child. Do you see any flickers of Arno's talent shining through Hayden? Um, I do, actually. He's, um, he does one thing that Arno uh, does that's very surprising and I've never met anybody else that does it. Sometimes Arno wakes up in the middle of the night and he says he can't sleep because he's got songs in his head and he has to get up and he has to write them down. And he has said it to me a couple of times. He wakes up in the morning and he says, Mommy, there's songs in my head when I'm sleeping. So, and I've, not known, I've never met anybody else who hears music when they sleep. With great expectations of the next Springbok Nude Girls album, the Carstens family are taking everything in their stride. Anna, how has being a father affected you as a musician and an artist? Well, I think I'm, I'm more at home than what I used to be. I don't go on long tours anymore because I'd rather spend time here with my family than being on tour. And that is uh, in stark contrast to how I used to be with my well, I grew up with my dad. I mean, my dad used to work every day, and so I'd only see him over the weekends or late at night. So it's a lovely experience to be able to spend such a lot of time with my son and my wife and stuff and family life. So I think that is, um, that's the way that it's influenced my whole career at the moment. You've performed with the likes of U2, the Rolling Stones, and festivals all over the world. What have been some of the highlights of your career? I think the first time you hear your song on radio, the first time you win something like a Sama, um, all those, the first time of everything is always the highlight. Now we know you have an album coming out, but what else can we expect for the rest of the year? So the plans for the year is, yeah, Springbok Nickel album at the end of the year. Um, we were going to do an um, art exhibition this year, but because I'm going to Europe now for a month and a half or whatever, um, I think we're going to like push it out a little bit till next year. And then, of course, I'm working on my second Afrikaans album, which will come out next year. So there's an album, album, exhibition, all busy, busy. Exciting stuff, okay, let's dig in. With a big spring tour, Arno, Mel and Hayden are enjoying a warm, cozy winter together at home. <laughs> 